Hi everyone, welcome to Asta's Makeup Closet. This is Asta here. Um, today we are going to be looking at a personal makeup kit, you know, the essentials or um, the best things that you can have in your makeup kit for your everyday use or, you know, even if you're going to parties or something of the sort. Um, you know, something like, um, like a complete personal makeup kit. So let's get started. I've got all my stuff here and I'm going to be showing. Of course, you can customize it according to your budget and, you know, this is just my personal kit and apologies for me perspiring a little because it's kind of getting hot so uh, let's get into this now so we're going to be starting first with um, skincare so I'll show, I'll show you whatever you know I feel is the necessary skincare a person should have in their kits and uh, let's take it from there so looking at skincare the first thing we can look at is um, is a face oil I use this by the body shop it's called oils of life oh, how do I do this can you can you see it so yeah and this is really nice it's a nice lightweight oil um, it's excellent you know for daily use if you just want to use it with your sunscreen or you know whatever it is that you need to do um, if you don't want to wear your moisturizer or something then this is like the perfect oil to go for the second thing that I have in my skincare is a uh, sunscreen this I find is oh geez yeah this I find is to be one of the best sunscreens available um, it's very economical as well it's um, not expensive at all and it's just perfect and doesn't give you flashback in photographs either um, you know just slather it on when you're going out then we're looking at moisturizer this is a moisturizer I used uh, yesterday in my video as well it's the rose ceramide cream by pixie I'll be listing out all the products in the description box so you know for ease of use um, and ease of basically to as a checklist so this is the uh, pixie moisturizer um, it's super hydrating it's lightweight as well yeah you do tend to perspire a little but you know um, that just goes with um, summer and you know how summer is in India so that's how things are like, you know with any moisturizer frankly speaking um, next let's get into uh, foundations so for foundations, I have two kinds over here. One is the liquid foundation. It's by Dior. It's the face and body um, um, backstage foundation by Dior. I have the shade 2W for myself. Um, it matched pretty perfectly with me. And the second foundation, this foundation is, um, it's a lightweight foundation. So, you know, basically what I'm showing you in the kit is something that you can use um, every day. Um, it's lightweight, it's um, easy to use, it's um, great for on the go and it's great for you know heading to the office so nothing is high coverage here this can be this is a sheer coverage foundation and can be built to medium coverage as well and the second one that I have is my Chanel cushion foundation it's in the shade Le Beige and it's a healthy glow touch foundation which I'll show you exactly how it looks and you have an applicator here. I like to use it with a brush, frankly speaking. So, you know, um, I don't like using the sponges. And that's how it is. So it's a normal cushion foundation. Excellent, again, you know, um, you can just keep it as a compact in your um, bag and take it with you anywhere. And, you know, you get these um, really nice brushes from Chanel as well, um, you know, which can sort of roll up into a... Um, um, uh, a lipstick kind of a thing so yeah so that works out really well for on the go then um, after the foundations well you know I'm going a little haywire but let's look at a few of the primers as well so this is a primer I used yesterday it's the one by makeup forever it's the uh, radiant primer and skin equalizer this is again like i said it kind of it's great for people who've got hyperpigmentation or people who have dark circles or people you know who just have spots or want to um basically equalize their skin tone in a manner that's um 
you know that's a little more how should i put it a little more smooth in terms of uh, coloring you know in terms of complexion so it's great for that and the second one that i have is the one by becca which i use the anti fatigue primer for my under eyes so this is a perfect one for me um i mean i'll just zoom in and you know here you can actually see what my under eyes uh, look like i don't have moisturizer or any product on me at this moment and uh, this is just fantastic to you know sort of deep puff the area uh, moisturize it um and just smoothen out the lines so next let's get into get, let's get into color correctors and concealers so for the color corrector i have my shiseido um color corrector here it's like a very nice uh pen it's got um a brush tip and uh, you just have to you know twist it around and um it's a fantastic color corrector in the peach shade for me it's a warm beige 106 so this works phenomenally for me and my favorite concealer the boing kickless concealer in shade 6 which i used yesterday as well in my video and this is by far one of my favorite concealers that i've used um it's totally um it doesn't cake up um it's fantastic on the skin the stain power is phenomenal and the coverage is high so that's why i love it um then let's get into um powders so for powders i just have the prep and prime by mac uh this is the transparent powder i don't mind using um you know powder foundations or compacts it's just that you know that's just a little bit for added coverage but if you just want to set your face with the um, you know with the a product that's um you know lightweight it's not going to cake you up it's not going to look like you know you're wearing extra makeup during the day time especially in the sun so it's like a perfect way to go just using a translucent or a transparent powder or any loose powder for that matter then going into um eyeliners and eye pencils so first let's look at the brow products so there's one brow product that i really really love it's the dior show brow styler it's a very thin pencil and it basically twists you know you can twist it out and that's how it is and on the back of it is a spoolie so this works perfectly for me and you know i'm not really um big into brow products i just like to use a soap and you know like soap brows and just kind of push them up and just feather them feather them out that's when i just fill in the sparse areas and that's about it um other than that for eye products we've got some um you know these are the bare essentials that i'm telling you about so we've got the shiseido arch liner styler eyeliner stylo eyeliner ink i love this eyeliner if you look at the tip it's fantastic it's got this um like a curved uh nib and it's almost like a brush tip and uh it makes the softest and the um you know you can go from soft to thick it's more like a calligraphy pen so you know let the japanese tell you exactly how to do these things you know shiseido is a japanese brand and i love this for that and it's a super black um liner and it's just fantastic so i was feeling super hot so i just tied my hair and uh getting back into the products so for eye pencils and gel uh cream gel uh liners i've got these two by colourpop um one's in brown one's in black brown is great for everyday use you know if you go into the office or you know a daytime look if you don't want something very intense around your eyes but you want like a certain definition then brown is the color to go for otherwise uh black is always there you know black looks great with practically all eye colors and i love it with lighter eyes especially so um yeah so these are fantastic eyeliners and they kind of you know that's how they are so these are retractable after that uh what do we have so let's get into blush yes blush is a good thing to i love blushes and uh i have one here from um Kiko Milano It's called the Sicilian Notes Big Blush. I love this color. 
it's great for um, everyday use it's not too heavy on the skin it's got a little sheen to it if you were to notice you know it's got a little sheen to it so um, you don't really really need a highlighter with this uh, it's in the shade uh, Panaria Mauve or Mauve or however you want to pronounce that and for highlighters I've got the Mary Luminizer I love the name um, it's by a brand called The Balm and um, Mary Luminizer is actually the shade name of the highlighter. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Yeah. So yeah. And it's got a beautiful glow to this, uh, to it. And um, it's superb, you know, for the skin. But I would suggest that you take, use it very light-handedly if you're using it um, during the daytime. After that, we come into um, contour and bronzing. So I love to contour. Now there's a fundamental difference between contour and bronze and a bronzer. The difference is that contour is, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people like to use them interchangeably, but uh, that should not be done for the simple reason that it's okay not to contour, but do not use your bronzer as your contour for the simple reason that bronzers are warmer toned and contours are always cooler toned. Why is a contour cooler toned? It's because when you look at shadows, shadows always have a cool tone to, tone to them. They're always a little more gray. They're never brown or they're never on a reddish side or something. So when you're looking at uh, contours, it's very um, strongly recommended that you go for a contour that is a uh, cooler toned. So if you were to look at this palette from Kiko Milano, it's got the smart contouring palette in three. And you look at this contour shade, it's a very, very cool. So when you look at this and if you look at a bronzer, this is the terracotta, the terracotta bronzer by um, Guerlain. You will notice that there's a shade, a massive shade difference. This is cool toned and this is warm toned. So a bronzer is used for warming up the face. It's how the sun, you know, if you go out in the sun and you're playing around or you're just walking around or shopping or something or you're out for a picnic, you tend to, uh, you know, the sun hits you in certain areas, high planes of your face that kind of warms it up. So that sort of a flush or a warming up effect is what uh, a bronzer does. Contour is only used to create shadows and sculpt your face and basically just enhance, you know, because a lot of times when you use foundation, a lot of our shadows go away and kind of flattens the look and flattens our face. So we need to bring that shadow and the warmth back. That's what, that's the fundamental uh, difference between a contour and a bronzer. So um, there are two kinds of bronzers as well as contours. There, you have the cream bronzer and the cream contour. Um, and you have the powder bronzer and the powder powder contour. Um, you can, you know, for an everyday look, uh, if you go into office or if you're just going out for lunch with the ladies or with friends or anything, um, you know, you can skip the powder, uh, the cream products. Uh, they're slightly heavier, and you can simply go in for the powder products. You know, because you don't need that kind of lasting power because lunches, brunches, all of that is just, you know, a few hours out. Um, you know in public or where you need your makeup to last so for bronzer the one of my favorite is the favorites is the terracotta from Guerlain I love this bronzer for myself it's a fantastic color it's got a really nice warm undertone and it's got like this light sheen to it which gives the face a very natural sort of a glow so it's I love it and another bronzer that I like though this is a cream bronzer but it's not very heavy it's the Chanel uh, Soleil Tan de Chanel I'm sorry I'm not um, good with French <laughs> so pardon my pronunciations and it just comes in one color which is unfortunate I mean Chanel should be more you know um, they should look at more color and skin tones and all of this but I love this and it smells awesome it smells like roses so this is something that's a lightweight product that you can use every day as well you know even during going out um, for lunches or whatever um, or if you don't want to go for separate products then what you can do is you can probably take a palette like this this is the Smashbox um, drawn and decked out sculpting cheek palette so this is what it looks like 
so what happens is that you get your you know you get a highlight you get a contour you get a bronzer you get a highlight or two highlights rather and you get two blushes so this is a product that would be fantastic for everyday use as well and the cover is kind of cute you know so yeah this is one of my favorite palettes too you know like my go to palettes if I'm kind of pressed for time or something then let's get into um, eyeshadows ah, so eyeshadows is something that you can buy a lot like loads and loads of options in the market for eyeshadows you can buy bigger palettes you can buy smaller palettes there's just so much you can do with eyeshadows but you know if you want to keep your makeup collection compact then I would suggest that you either go in for quads or you go in for uh, trios or you can probably get one colorful eyeshadow and one um, you know matte um, not a matte sorry a neutral eyeshadow uh, palette and you know with two you sort of sorted for your entire look range so you can do uh, makeup for parties you can do makeup for lunches you can do makeup for um, office all of that so I have a couple of options here that I would like to show you so one of the options is um, a Shiseido eyesha eyeshadow palette these are the slims these, these are excellent to carry in your purse they look like this and they have a mirror on this side and you get there are about six or seven different color schemes that you can get so this is a beautiful neutral uh, scheme greens look fantastic with brown or black eyes so you know you can totally go in for that and they have a bit of the golds and an inner highlight and you've got a crease color here outer corner as well and this can be these two can be lit toppers so this is a fantastic eyeshadow palette that you can look at the second one that I would suggest that would be slightly larger is uh, shake your pom poms um, this is by Too Faced this is available on Nika Lux I believe and uh, these are the shades so you can go in for something like this and it has a little uh, peachy tone and a pink tone so you know it sort of diversifies the the shadows a little bit from as compared to the Shiseido eyeshadow palette the next one that you can look at if you want to go in for something that's high end but something super super compact is the Dior uh, 5 shadows um, palettes let me just take out the brushes so that you can see so something like this so I have this in two shades and uh, I love this I love the peaches with uh, the peachy colors with the blues and uh, you know like a hint of uh, sky blue in the center so these are fantastic to use as well great quality the only drawback is that you don't get a matte in this so for a matte color you know if you want to go for something just very light and shimmery or something this is a fantastic palette to go for if you want something matte then of course you know like I would suggest that you either go for in the uh, go for the Shiseido palette or you know shake your pom poms uh, by Too Faced and then what you can do is you can probably get one palette that's a little on the larger side this is the Jackie Aina palette uh, this is by Anast um, Anastasia Be Beverly Hills and this is what it looks like so this has a whole array of colors and it's got a lot of mattes and uh, brighter colors as well so it'll be a superb addition to your um, you know your makeup uh, kit so for personal use this is fantastic so that kind of concludes the eyeshadows uh, moving into mascaras so this is my favorite mascara um, it's a scuba water resistant black mascara it's by the balm um, I love the wand and I love what it does so the wand is really really short but it really lengthens the eyelashes and it doesn't uh, you know uh, transfer or bleed through after mascaras mascara is something you know like of course you know you can have your eyelash colors or something and mascara is great you know it's great it's great to open up your eyes it's great to make your eyes look bigger a little more alive a little more awake um, so yeah so this is one of my favorite mascaras you know, there's like a whole world of options out there that you can actually go for so after that um, my favorite part <laughs> uh, lip colors so I would suggest like I've just picked out a couple of random lip, co lip colors you know um, and different types so that you know you have an idea of what all you can have in your kit so I would suggest that you have a brighter um, lip color in, which is uh, liquid lip so this is by Tom Ford that's what it looks like 
so this is brighter you know for those days that you know I'm feeling a little blue or down or something and then you know just quite a bright lip color it looks really really nice and this one is the liquid matte lip by Huda Beauty and it's in the color it's in the shade Jet Setter and the Tom Ford one was in Violet Fatale so that's what it looks like so this is like a more um, peachy tone and it's more natural on my lips um, other than that you can always go in for bullet lipsticks so I have two here one is by Chanel and it's a luminous matte lip color and the other one is Smashbox which is a very very nude um, bullet lipstick and I simply love it because that's what it looks like it's got triple colors and uh, kind of gives a nice ombre to the lips so I love using this lipstick and the Chanel one that I have so I put put like little swatches on my lipsticks you know so that I know exactly which ones I need to go in for and the Chanel bullet lipstick that I have is in this lovely peach color so bulleted lipsticks are great you know if you are on the go if you want to put in something that's a little compact into your bag and you know just go for it um, so yeah smart bullet lipsticks um, excellent for daily wear then I would suggest that you have a clear gloss as well this is by color pop it's called so juicy this is a lip plumping uh, plumping uh, lip gloss um, if you color pop is not available in India so if you want a lip plumping lip gloss you can always look at Too Faced uh, they're available at Nika Lux and they have some great lip glosses other than that I love the Fenty lip gloss as well these make your lips look like vinyl it's amazing what these lip glosses do so that and if you're not you know looking to wear anything or you feel that your lips are nice and prepped and you know you've scrubbed them and they're in the natural pink color however and you don't want to wear anything heavy on your lips you can always go in uh, for a lip oil that will keep your lips moisturized as well as it will look like a really nice gloss um, so my favorite lip oil is by Clarins it's this one so you get them about um, uh, three or four different flavors uh, I hate to say <laughs> flavors you know it's not like you need to taste them taste them sorry uh, but it's more like um, you know scents I should say <laughs> instead of flavors so all of this so now that we've kind of covered the entire makeup kit uh, the last thing that you need is a good fixing spray so this is MAC prep and prime you can use it as a primer also you can use it as a fixing spray I mean it's great as a fi fixing spray and the best thing is that you can use the uh, prep and prime uh, fixing spray for spraying your brushes when you want to use like a nice shimmery eyeshadow and you want like great power color payoff use this don't use water water and powder don't go together unless and until it says that the eyeshadow can be used wet but it's always better and the best way to do it is that you dip your brush in a uh, shimmer eyeshadow and you spray it with this don't spray the brush first and then dip in it can lead to a hot pan so just be a little careful about that so that sort of concludes the video about having a personal kit um, do let me know if you have any questions down in the comments or anything that you would uh, require me to answer and um, pardon me for the bloopers in between you know because um, I don't work with scripts I just go one by one you know like from the top of my head and <laughs> so that's how it was so everything's just very very spontaneous in these videos and uh, yeah I hope you're all staying safe staying inside and uh, until the next video see you